<laughs> the answer on this one should be a negative 285. Answer should be a negative 56. Answer should be 10. Winning number today is 3. If you have all the work shown for each problem, then bring it up. We have 7 out of 8, 88%. Here are the answers. The first one should be x to the third minus 7x squared plus 4x plus 12 equals 0. The second one is x to the third minus 3x squared minus 34x plus 120 equals 0. 3 is x squared minus 7x minus 18 equals 0. Four is x to the third plus x squared minus fourteen x minus twenty four is zero. Five is x squared minus two x minus thirty five. Six is x to the fourth minus five x to the third plus two x squared plus eight x equals zero. 7 is x squared plus 9x minus 36 equals 0. 8 is x to the third minus x squared minus 26x minus 24 equals 0. 9 is x to the third minus 3x squared minus 60x minus 100 equals 0. 10 is x squared minus 17x plus 72 equals 0. Today's objective is the same as yesterday's. Example 1. You have three roots on this one. So it's going to be x plus 4, x minus 6, and x plus 2 equals 0. You reverse the sign to put them in the expression. Is there any question about how we come up with that? Alright, when you multiply these out, when you have three of them, multiply the first two out to start with. Here's a shortcut that might help you. Clearly I'm going to have what term first? x squared. Then, if you want to skip a step, you can do 4 plus a negative 6. What's 4 plus a negative 6? 4 plus a negative 6. Negative 2. So you just put negative 2x or minus 2x. You, if you add these items, you get the middle term if you put an x with it. And then if you multiply these items, you get the last term, minus 24. So that'll help you skip the step of having to simplify the two. Again, it's x squared we get this, add this term with this one, including the signs, to get minus 2, but put an x beside it, and then multiply them to get minus 24. Now you have to multiply by x plus 2. When you do that, multiply the first quantity through by x. When you do that, it's x to the third minus 2x squared minus 24x. And now go through and multiply by the positive 2 through everything in the first quantity. And that would be 2x squared minus 4x minus 48. Is, are there any questions about how we came to this point? For the final answer, you only have one x to the third term, so it's x to the third 
but you have a minus 2x squared plus 2x squared. What happens to minus 2x squared and plus 2x squared? They go to zero, yeah, they cancel each other mm -hmm. out. So that means they're just gone. Don't write zero x squared. And then you go to your x terms, you have minus 24x minus 4x is minus 28x, and then minus 48. Four roots, so we're going to do the opposite when we put them in. It's going to be x plus 1, x minus 4, x plus 2, and x minus 1. When you have four of them, especially if one of them isn't zero, you need to multiply the first two together and then the last two to make it easy on you. Plus that's how I'm going to do it for the solution guide so if you get lost on your homework you can come in and see exactly what went wrong if we all stay on the same uh, plan. But for the first one when I multiply this out I'm going to have what for my first term? x squared and then what's my middle term going to be if I add 1 and negative 4? negative 3x, right? And what's my last term going to be if I multiply 1 and negative 4? negative 4. Now let's do the same thing on the back end with those last two. What's my first term going to be? x squared. And what's the middle term if I do 2 plus a negative 1? 1. 2 plus a negative 1 is 1, but I don't write the 1. Just x. And what about the last term if I do 2 times a negative 1? Yeah. Okay, so you have to multiply these two together. And the easiest way to do this is to start here with this term and multiply it by each of those. Try to keep all of your expressions on the same line. So if I start with the x squared, I end up with x to the fourth plus x to the third minus 2x squared. Any questions about where I came up with that? I've multiplied this item by each of these. Once you do that, you have to go to the middle term here with this one and do the same thing, but don't forget to include the minus sign as a negative in front of it. So if I do this, I come up with minus 3x to the third minus 3x squared plus 6x. And again, I've done negative 3x times each of these. So now finish off with the minus 4 times each of those. And we'll come up with minus 4x squared minus 4x plus 8. Any questions about how I came to this point? The only thing left to do is simplify. How many x to the fourths do I have in there? So we put x to the fourth. And how many x to the thirds do I have? So x to the third minus 3x to the third is what? Negative 2x to the third. So it's minus 2x to the third. And how many x squares do I have in here? I have three of them. So negative 2x squared minus 3x squared. This and this combined is a negative 5x squared. But I also have to combine it with a negative 4x squared. Yeah, so I get negative 9x squared. I have 2x terms, 6x minus 4x is 2x, and we just have the one constant left at the end, plus 8. You should have x plus 5, x minus 4, x minus 10. 
And when you multiply these first two, it's x squared plus x minus 20. And then multiply that by x minus 10 to come up with x to the third plus x squared minus 20x. And then negative 10x squared minus 10x plus 200. When you simplify, you should have x to the third minus 9x squared minus 30x plus 200. There should be just that. An extra parenthesis would make it uh, mathematically just. That The extra parenthesis would make it just, but actually there's not supposed to be a parenthesis at all back there. That's just a typo on my part. Answer is 99. You should have x plus 3, and then x minus 2, x plus 1, x minus 5, and when you multiply out the first two, it's x squared plus x minus 6, and the back two is x squared minus 4x minus 5. Now when you multiply this out, you're going to multiply this by each of those to start with, so that's x to the fourth minus 4x to the third minus 5x squared and then go to this term and get plus x to the third minus 4x squared minus 5x and then go to the minus 6 to get minus 6x squared plus 24x plus 30 and now to simplify all of it you should have x to the fourth Negative x to the or negative four x to the third and x to the third is minus three x to the third. This and this will make minus eleven and that makes minus fifteen x squared. Uh, we have minus five x plus twenty four x is going to be a plus uh, nineteen. Yeah, plus nineteen x and then plus 30 equals 0. Answer to the bonus is 45. Answer is four.